If your hair looks great when you're done styling, but a couple of hours later it's flat and droopy, then you're probably making one of these common mistakes. Those of us with curly hair know exactly what to do to define our curls, but a lot of times these same tricks cause our curls to fall flat. Today I'm sharing six ways you may be causing your curls to go limp. These all helped my curls go from flat and droopy within a couple of hours of styling to lasting more than a couple of days, especially the last one which had the biggest impact on my hairstyle. Now the first big mistake is having too much moisture in your routine overall and there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can be using products that are too heavy, meaning they're really heavy on the moisturizing ingredients, things that are really thick and creamy, like creams, co-washes, really thick moisturizing shampoos, masks and deep conditioners. These are all considered heavy. You could just be using too much product, so maybe you just applied too much product and all of the moisture in that product was just a little bit too much for your hair to handle. Or you could be using too much of the moisturizing product in your routine. So if you're using a leave-in oil or a cream, those are the moisturizing products. Maybe you're just using too much of that product and you can cut back. Use less, skip it. If you're using more than one, you definitely don't need to use more than one in this category. Cut the others out, try just one, and reduce the amount of moisture in your routine. This will increase the hold of your hair. The problem is that all this extra moisture weighs down your hair and over time as your hair dries after it's styled, it starts to get pulled down by the weight of the moisture. It stretches out your curls and they start to look limp. So reducing the amount of moisture in your routine is a really quick fix for this. The second cause of limp curls is buildup. So if you are not clarifying with a strong enough shampoo or you're not clarifying on a regular basis, maybe you're waiting way too long in between clarifying, you may have buildup on your hair and this is going to cause your hair to droop and fall flat. Built up on the hair prevents the products that you're applying to your hair from being absorbed. So this prevents your conditioner from being absorbed, your masks and treatments from being absorbed, and from your styling products to do their job, which is to define your curls and hold them. So build up can prevent all of these things from happening. So we want to make sure that we remove this build up on a regular basis. So opt for a good clarifying shampoo, something that is lathering up. It's got a couple of surfactants in it. Maybe it's got olefin sulfonate or a sulfate even, and use that like once a month to make sure that you don't have build up in your hair. The third common cause of droopy curls is styling your hair when it is too wet, meaning your hair has too much water in it when you're styling. This dilutes the product and weighs down the hair much in the same way that build up can. If you have too much water in your hair when you're styling, this reduces the level of hold in your product and it may even dilute the product that you apply to your hair so there's less of it that stays in your hair. That's especially the case if you're plopping after you apply your styling product, so you wanna be mindful of that. One quick fix is to try micro-plopping before you apply your styling products. So squeeze the water out of your hair, micro-plop with a hair towel, and then apply your styling products. This will make sure that your hair is not too wet and that your products are doing as much as they can. You can see how I do this in this video where I share my super fast 16 minute routine. The fourth cause of droopy limp and flat curls is air drying. And I know some people are gonna disagree with me on this. I know some people absolutely detest diffusing. That's okay. You don't have to follow all of my tips. You can skip the ones that don't apply to you. But air drying is going to result in your hair style not lasting as long for a couple of reasons. One, when you diffuse, it reduces the water weight on your hair as it's drying, so it is able to spring up a little higher and dry faster and lock in that curl pattern that you have when you're done styling. Another thing it does is it activates the styling products. So the styling products, many of them are activated by heat, and so this heat that you apply with diffusing activates them and makes them more effective. So they're gonna have better hold, better definition, and that leads to a longer lasting style. The next cause of flat and droopy curls is inadequate sleep protection. If you're not protecting your hair while you sleep good enough, then you're going to wake up with hair that has flattened out, it's stretched out, it's gotten frizzy, and it's overall lost its style. I was guilty of doing this in the beginning. I thought it was ridiculous to have to put on like a bonnet or a sleep cap or buff or any of those things. Like I was not convinced that they had any effect on my hair, but it was very wrong. And I finally decided to try one at one point and I saw what a big difference it made. So I wish I would have just tried it sooner. So if you've been holding out, you don't really believe the hype, I encourage you to give it a try. It does make a difference. So things like a silk pillowcase, putting your hair up into a bonnet or a buff, those are ideal because they're not really pulling on the hair like a pineapple can. They're not stretching the hair out. They are kind of, um, especially a bonnet or, or a buff, it kind of keeps the hair protected in like a, a cap so your curls are not really messed with during the night. A silk pillowcase only is not gonna be as effective. That's just gonna prevent like tangling and frizzing, but I really encourage you to try something like a cap, bonnet, a buff, something like that that holds your hair up and it's actually covering all of the hair and keeping it contained in one place. That's gonna be the most effective solution. 
Now the biggest cause of flat and limp curls is a lack of hold in your styling products. And this kind of relates to having too much water, having too much moisture in your routine because that reduces the level of hold. But it also is you're just choosing styling products that don't have enough hold. So if you are not using strong hold styling products and this is a problem that you're having, then this is a very quick, easy way to fix it. If you are styling with creams, lotions, oils, leave-in conditioners, foams, none of those products have medium to strong hold. Most of them don't have any hold. If they do, they'll have a little bit of light hold, particularly with foams and creams, but these are not single styling products. No, none of these products are intended to be used on their own as a single styler for curly hair because these products all define and moisturize our curls. They do not provide the hold for the longevity of our style. So that's why it looks good at first, but after a couple of hours, it starts to droop because there's nothing holding that shape and our curls need something to hold, lock it in, keep that frizz at bay, keep the curl pattern. So you can increase the hold in your routine by the reduction of moisturizing products and increase in the hold of the styling products that you use. Watch this video next about how to make your curls last longer where I share lots of tips and tricks and products to use to help your style last longer so it doesn't fall flat and get frizzy. Just click the video you see on your screen and I'll see you there.